Well, here we are again, folks. Brother Peter with tidbits from the Word. These are 10 minutes. These are little 10-minute excerpts that you could put one on and listen to it every morning before you go to work. Or if you carry a computer with you that's uh, hooked up to the Internet, you have on the front seat of your car or somewhere, you could listen to uh, one of these if you cared to. And uh, what these are is just little 10-minute excerpts from the book. You say, well, Brother Peter, sometimes you're pretty boring. Well, sometimes I may be pretty boring, but I, I'm telling facts that are the truth. Truth of the matter is, the Word of God to me is not boring because it is my sustainer. It is my life. It is what gives me peace, joy, long-suffering, contentment. Uh, meekness, mildness, uh, charity, uh, all of the things that I, the uh, aspects of being saved and following God. These are the fruits of the Spirit. These are called the fruits of the Spirit. There are different fruits. There are 12 manner of fruit trees uh, beside the river of God and each one of those trees yields us a different fruit every 30 days and I think this is a picture that whatever tree we are we ought to be yielding some manner of fruit at least every 30 days so what manner of fruit could you be delivering from your tree brother Peter let's say I have a, a terrific temper I'm a person with terrific temper and I say to the Lord, I want to bear some fruit this month. And the Lord says, good, I'll help you. Uh, let's put off temper and not use it. The fruit you will bear, will, people will see you and say, do you know something's happened to him? Because uh, last week, when that same thing happened to him, he hit his thumb with a hammer. He threw the hammer and cussed and swore and did everything else. And this month he hit himself on the thumb with the hammer. And he said, well, Lord, that was kind of stupid of me. Uh, help me not to do that anymore, please. And he goes right on to working. What happened? He's yielded some fruit before other people that he hadn't yielded before. Before, it was all that curses, wire and everything. Now he's saved. He's following the Lord. The fruit is he's got some temperance in his life. And he's got a little meekness. He's got a little long suffering. And he's got a little something different. And he portrays that. And that's the fruit that he's yielding to people. Now, each month you should add to that fruit. And one of the fruits of salvation is, after salvation, is to be able to ask somebody, if they died right now, would they go to heaven? To pass on your, that new conversion, a new convert. New converts are wonderful. They're beautiful. They are something else. They are people who will say, last week I was a drunk. I was in the bed, John fighting and, and everything and this week I'm a total new person I don't want to go to the beer joint I don't want to do any more of that fight I don't want to do any more I want to start yielding a good fruit so you're one of those trees planted by the rivers of water that can yield good fruit every 30 days wow and do you know there is a truth in that? You and I can yield good fruit every 30 days if we strike out to do that. And you can strike out to do that. You can put a 30-day plan in the process in your life and say, I'm going to put a 30-day plan in the process and I'm going to ask God to show me somebody who's not saved, who needs to be saved, who's around me, who sees me every day, who knows me, who knew me before I got saved and knows me now. And in 30 days, I'm going to try to win that person to the Lord. Do what does that mean? 
That means you got to walk circumspectly to the scripture for the next 30 days in front of that person. You got to get your Bible out every day and you got to read it. And you got to see, let that person see you studying the Bible. Let that person see you learning from God. Let that person see you grow for 30 days. Let them see you grow every day for 30 days. Cut your tongue off. Put tape over your mouth. Do whatever you have to do. Keep your mouth shut. Put your ears right. Here's this guy watching you. Here's another guy walks up and he tells a dirty joke. Do you laugh? Or do you say to him, what church do you go to? And that, do they teach that kind of jokes down at that church? No. You need to be careful and learn how to walk. During that 30 days, here's a person watching you. You're, you're the only Bible they're going to read. They're not going to open a Bible and read it. And if they did, they wouldn't understand it. But now that you understand it, you are being known and read of all men. So now you are a witness. So you want to yield a 30-day fruit. So you pick out somebody. They may be six years old, they may be 10 years old, they may be 25, they may be 79, but they knew your life. They knew it when you lived for the devil, how it was. Now you're living for the Lord, now you want to sow some fruit. So here you are. All right, you're showing that guy, that girl, man, woman, boy, or girl, that you are taking on temperance, and you're being tempered, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're going to put up with the hammer of temperance. How do you temper steel? You heat it up, hot, and you make it hot, and and then you hammer it. Ding, 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 and that's what you have to do with your life to temper it. You have to get under the heat of the word and the hammer of the Lord, and the Lord's gonna hammer out some things. One thing the Lord hammered out to me, it took him 12 months, one year. He hammered out getting the smoking out of my life. And I love to smoke. I love to smoke better than anybody in the world. And the Lord said to me, if you're going to work for me and you're going to show temperance and meekness and kindness and long-suffering and the fact that you are a new creature now, old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And you're still smoking? Something's wrong with that. Because I made you a new person, Peter. And because I did, all the things of the past need to come off from you. You need to go ahead and lay that one down. If you don't, you have a God before me, which is a little white thing called a cigarette. And that's a God before me if you continue to do that after you say it. So I had to lay that down. Do you know when I laid that down, it brought other people on board? Other people said, well, I know how Peter likes to smoke. He's a two, three pack a day guy, and God delivered him from them cigarettes. If God can deliver him from them cigarettes, maybe I stand a chance of God delivering me from something. And so I yielded some fruit by taking things off from the tree, taking the old dead leaves off the tree, in the, in the fall, that's what happens. All the old dead leaves fall off the tree and new leaves come on the tree in the spring and you're ready to go again and the tree's ready to go and bear fruit again. And it will bear fruit again and then they'll fall off again and then you start over and you keep doing that over and over. Well, you can bear fruit each time you get a new set of leaves. And how do you get the new set of leaves, Peter? Every 30 days, you can renew your life commitment, renew your commitment to the Lord. You've already been saved, but now renew your commitment to serve Him for the next 30 days to the best of your ability. Say, for the next 30 days, I'm going to read a proverb every day for the next 30 days. There's 31 proverbs, and I'm going to read one. I'm going to read two one day, and the rest of the month, I'm going to read one proverb every day that's a start when you start doing that and don't hide and do it let people know you're doing it let them see you do it and exercise the right that you have to be spiritual to live with you and god together